have you ever wondered how your IP is being gotten from a company that you're browsing their website? Or have you ever wondered how um, your IP or an IP is being blocked from accessing a particular website? We're going to look at that in this particular video. We're going to see how to view the IP of uh, the person or view the IP of your computer, of your browser, of whatever. And um, we're going to look at also how to block an IP from accessing a particular website. So I'm going to do a uh, save us here. Let me delete this. I'm going to do a save us. Now save this as IP and OK. And I'll change this to IP here. OK. Now remove all of this. And then here too, I'm just going to do a save us here. And I'll call this um, address. Okay, I'll call that address the PHP. And I'll here I'll put IP, and I'll remove all of this as well. Now let's quickly look at how this works. Now the IP address is um, called using a super global server and um is being called like this now let's assign that quickly to a variable let's say let's give it the variable address okay and um it's been assigned like this server okay now you write remote okay that's remote notes so we'll say remote address and the address is not written in full but it's written like this okay now what we're going to do now this is what the the statement here of the variable here tells you or gives you the uh, remote address or the IP of your uh, computer of your browser okay so now we're going to include this file in here and we're going to do a little um, ph I'm sorry HTML here Let's do a little HTML. Let's use the H1 tag. Let's use the H1 tag to do something very important. Let's say welcome uh, to a platform. Or welcome to a platform. Okay. Save that. And I'm just going to use the require instead of include. I'm going to say require um, uh, address the PHP. Okay, and I'm gonna require address the PHP. Now let's quickly um, refresh that and see if we're not making a mistake somewhere. I'll go to my browser and um, I'll quickly um, go to IP.php and see. You see, welcome to our platform. That means our require statement work perfectly well. Okay, so let's go back to our editor and continue. So here we assign this to a variable called address. So if we want to view the IP of our, uh, our, our client system, we'll simply echo, since we we've require that particular file, we'll just echo address, the address variable. Okay, now let's see what that will give us when we check IP. And you see um, that is a, a, a local host, uh, colon colon one or is one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one okay anyone whatever that is how it has been written 